Next, we install local trade copper into each MetaTrader. I have local trade copper downloaded there. That's the package that you download from the download center. So now I will extract it. I go to extract all and I extract. Inside there are MQL folder that's for manual installation. And also we have automated installation with auto installer. One goes for server, your master account, you know, the master account, you know, how, how do you define master account? Uh, MetaTrader becomes master account if you install server on that account and you launch the server. Because, you know, obviously you will choose one MetaTrader account that will act as a master where you will be trading. That's usually your account. Yeah. So, and you know, you install server on that account goes on all other accounts. Okay. Uh, client, I mean, client uh, yeah, goes on all other accounts, like client accounts. So first I want to show you installation by manual, manual installation in case this auto installer doesn't work. I take the MQL4 folder, I copy it and that's it. <laughs> Step one completed. Yeah. I go to my MetaChat account, go to file, open data folder and I paste this there. That's it. Installation completed. <laughs> if I go inside, you will see, if I go in experts, you see these files have been copied. If I go to libraries, you will see these two files copied. So that's how it works. For this, for these uh, trade copper EAs to appear there, I just have to refresh this. I go to refresh, that's it. Here we go. I have both in there, okay? So installation one completed. Now, I will do, um, I will show auto installer. Okay. So I will start with the server. I start the installer. I accept the agreement. I click next, click next, and it will show me all the meta traders I have on my computer. All I care about is that I know that my meta traders, I have two meta traders, uh, four. Yeah. And one of them needs to have server EA. Okay. So I already actually installed this manually, but let's just pretend I'm didn't, uh, and I'm installing with the auto installer. And I know that my, um, master is installed in a folder that's named master where they are. Yeah. If you remember Darwin X master. Yeah. So if I use the highlight filter to enter word master, okay. You will see it will highlight all the folders it found with the word master. This helps me easily to find the meta trader that I'm really looking for, you know, because I know that there's my master account. I click next, click next, finish. That's it. Okay. So obviously this was already there. So nothing changed. Um, but now let's do the client installation. If I, uh, oh yeah, guys, if for some reason, you cannot execute this file. This is something new I learned myself this week. One of our clients had trouble. They couldn't load the auto installer uh, on Windows 2016. And I went to properties and right there, there was uh, something saying like, this file is locked for whatever reason. And, you know, I had to check the box right there that said unlock. He had like 2016 windows and there was like unlock checkbox. So I had to check this and click OK. And then I was able to launch the installer. So I, I accept agreement. I go next, next. And now I know that it was IC markets. Yeah. So here we go. M242 IC markets. I select this. I click next, next, finish. I go to IC markets now. If I refresh, here we go. The client is in there. Now, trade copper installation for MetaTrader 4 complete. I will extract the files now. Here we go. I will load the LTC server. I accept agreement. Yeah. Let's do the server installation as well. Maybe we will switch later things just to see how this works. So here we go. 
I, I installed server and client TA in just both my MetaTrader 5s, okay? Okay. Uh, we can close this. We go to MetaTrader 5, Expert Advisors. I will refresh the list. Here we go. We get client and server. I go to Expert Advisors. I refresh. We get client and server. Okay. So installation complete. Next, we start the LTC server EA on the master account. Okay. Let's do that. I go to my master. That's my master. Yeah. I will open Euro dollar. It can be any pair, but I always recommend Euro dollar because it gets the most ticks. It helps you start the meta trade, uh, the trade copper immediately, you know. Um, so I'll do just Euro dollar. And what I do is just double click it or just drag the EA or I can do attach the chart. But I start the server EA, okay? Let's click OK for license key. I believe I can skip it. Yeah, I already previously used this EA in there. So I know that uh, the license key is already pre-saved. You can, you know, you have to enter it just once and later you don't need it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Server is running. Next step. Start client EA on client accounts. Now, um, we can start client TA with just default settings, but usually uh, all of you guys always have something like, I need this account to risk smaller, this account to have um, higher risk. And so, you know, so I will show how to adjust the risk automatically. Okay. So I go to my first client account. I open Euro dollar as well. And I attach the client EA for client EA. We don't need license key. We don't need nothing. Actually, it works as with default settings. And just to illustrate that, I will show you. I just click OK and it will just load. And that's it. Here we go. It, I can already copy trade. OK, if I click on this uh, smiley face, it opens settings or I can do this expert advisor properties. When I go to settings, I can change um, money management rules like what mode I want, like fixed lot size or I want to multiply lot size or I want the same lot sizes on the master. By default, it's auto adjusting lot size, uh, uh, taking into consideration different account sizes. So this account is 10,000, my master, yeah. And this client account is $50,000. This one is euros, this one in dollars. So it will automatically calculate everything, make the right lot size and stuff, you know. But just to make it more interesting, I will set the risk to just half, okay? So half will be 0 0.5, yeah? Like 50%, yeah, of my risk. It will multiply all you know the risk so if you risk like one percent it will multiply this by 0.5 and it will receive 0.5 percent if you risk like like 10 percent on your master account then half of that will be five percent on the client account and of course according to this client's account size so the lot size will still be bigger because that's a bigger account but the overall risk will be not 10 percent like on the master but just five percent because we cut this in half okay just remember and we can we can give an, a, a name okay my client risk 50% okay or just do this risk half okay just for our own reference it will print the message there so we, we can we can see you know how to, uh, we can see what's the risk in there you know quick okay let's try now the metatrader 5 and i hope it will work um open euro dollar let's try uh, the client inputs and for this one I will just leave it to 
auto adjust but multiplier is at one so it means it will be the same risk as on the a master account. So if the master risks 5%, this account will risk 5% as well. Obviously, we see this account is double the size, 20,000, so it will have a higher lot size as well. Okay, client on MetaTrader 5 is loaded. Then we go to the fourth account, Admiral Markets, and we go for Euro Dollar. Oh, it's the first one. Okay. Yeah, I see we have some trades in there, but let's just don't worry about this. And for this one, let's make, um, let's leave the rest the same. Okay, whatever. Okay, so here we go. Um, yeah, so I have three client accounts and one master account. All of them are running. We can see that the counter is growing right there, like... The stuff is changing, numbers are flashing in there, and yeah, so it's working, you know. Good. Now let's see the next step. So let's do a pending order copy test on each instrument we plan to trade. So let's do something really obvious, like, I don't know, pound dollar. So what I will do is just, I'll take a note where is the price I see the price is there and I will place a pending order far away from the price okay and that's on one hour chart so you know it's like it's like 300 pips away so it's it's like nowhere possible to get triggered like right now during our test okay it's completely safe so I put the buy limit Yes, I accept conditions. Buy limit. Here we go. I have a buy limit of one lot on 10,000 uh, euro count. Now let's go to client number one. I have a buy limit of 2.11 lots on $50,000 accounts. So let's do the math, okay? So this account is five times bigger. So originally the lot size should be one times five so should be five lots if that you know if it's euro count and we have risk half so we cut that in half so five lots should become 2.5 and because this account is in dollars and dollars has a uh, you know exchange rate like uh, with euro dollars so using that exchange rate uh, the copper automatically calculates that the lot size should be not 2.5 but 2.11 for a dollar account to risk the same amount. And uh, just to show you how this works, I will put a stop loss. So if my price is there, I will put a stop loss of let's say 10 pips. Here we go. And if I move my mouse over, it will show profit minus 84. Um, let's do this something more interesting. Let's do this 100 euros, okay? Here we go, 100 euros, okay? So if we take the calculator and we divide 100 euros loss on this trade, you know, if it hits stop loss, and we divide by account balance, which is 10,000. And we multiply by 100 to get the percent. It means 1%, guys. Yeah, it's quite obvious. Yeah, but I just show you the calculation. Yeah, how I do it. <laughs> so 100 euros is 1% risk on master account. What does it mean? It means that on all other accounts, it should be 1% risk if they're risking the same, yeah? But we have this account, it cuts the risk in half, so it should be half percent. So let's see. So for 50,000, half percent will be $250, yeah? So let's see, let's open pound dollar and just zoom in a bit let's see 251 yeah it's because account is big lots 
a big, you know, that's the closest possible. So like $251, that's half percent risk. You can see it just cut the risk in half on a bigger account size and of a different base currency basically, yeah? Now let's go to another one. That's M to five. Let's see how this works on M to five. If I open pound uh, dollar, I go there and see 200 uh, euros. Yeah, so 201 euro. That's 1% risk on a 20,000 euro account. Yeah. Now if we go to this one. We have lots of trades, but what's interesting for us is the pound dollar buy limit and it's one lot size. Yeah. Let's see pound dollar profit or loss, so to speak, minus 100 euros. So we have 9,998 euros. So it's like, it's the same. 1% risk as well. Let's say we wanted to risk different amount in there. So I just double click in there. I go there and I say, okay, let's, let's do the risk uh, three times bigger. Okay, click. Okay, it will restart. It will not change the risk already to the carpet trades, but for the new trades that come, it will change the risk. So I will open another, another trade. Let's do a sell limit this time on another pair. Let's do like, I don't know, Euro Yen, whatever. Let's do a sell limit of one lot. And it becomes Euro Yen three lots because we chose a three times bigger risk, okay? So no matter what's the stop loss it will be on this, you know, the size of, uh, of the lot size is three times bigger account size is the same on that, uh, you know, on this side. So that's how you adjust the risk for these accounts. You know, later you can change it and it will uh, take into effect for all the upcoming new trades for after the change, you know. So if we close these trades, they will obviously close on all the accounts. We can see this one's left, but that's for um, some tests from previous uh, workshops. 